Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Design Cut Builds. I'm Mark Humphreys and this week the three of us collaborated on making this awesome fire pit. So Chad, kind of explain some of the design elements that went into it. So I went on the internet and found some geometric shapes that I thought would be pretty cool and I downloaded those images, put them through our uh, scan and trace wizard and our torch make CAD and then implemented them into the design of the fire pit. Today, I get to make a fire pit, which Chad designed up. I'm gonna be using this cute little table that I already built. If you wanna check out that episode, click over here. I'm also gonna be using the 210 MP. Nice little machine, you can use it anywhere you want to. So first, I'm gonna tack them all up, and then I'm gonna put some stitch welds on the insides to make it nice and strong, and then once it's done, hopefully we can enjoy some beers afterwards. So let's get started. I'm going to take my first two pieces and put a tack at the top. Grab my third piece and throw another tack at the top. Then I'm going to grab my final piece and throw my last two tacks at the top so now it starts to look like a fire pit. Fitting my sides up nicely, making sure there's not much of a gap, I'm going to go through and put tacks, holding them all the way together. Once I had it all tacked up, I'm going to need to flip it over so I can get a better angle and see what I'm actually going to be welding. Now I'm going to throw one inch welds about two inches apart all the way down each side. You could probably weld completely solid along each side and then grind them nicely to make them look like a solid piece of metal. Either way it's going to look great. Now I'm going to put together my tray. Only tacking it together because I want to make sure it fits nicely at the bottom of the fire pit. Once I realize it fits nicely, I'm going to go ahead and put one inch welds on the corners. After I was finished welding it, Mark needed something to do. So he went and got us a can of spray paint. It's rated at 1500 degrees and he spray painted the inside and the outside and underneath and it looks great. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Design Cut Build. We thoroughly enjoyed building this fire pit for you and I think it'll be a big hit in your backyard or wherever you want to put it. To watch last week's video, click over by Chad. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click over by Sammy. And as always, you can find this build project and many others on fabricationforum.com under the DIY section. We'll see you next time.